Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki doing a uh, let's play uh, Army Man, Air, Land, and Sea. Or Land, Sea, and Air, or however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, same difference. Uh, basically, that's just to show you that, nope, no Sarge. Uh, you're, you're still a construct. And uh, looks like I first, and this is just to show off that there's a different loading screen than from the first one. Loads really quick, so don't really need to worry about it here. Anyway, looks like we have to secure a train station. And like I said, this is in hard difficulty. This is just a test run to see how uh, far I can get before I just decide to get utterly pwned on it and give up and switch to a lower difficulty. This, and this is to show you how much fail at Army Man I am. My previous LP was on easy difficulty. Uh, so I, I figured I would try to go for a harder difficulty this time around. Also, looks like the bayonet is still a little bit hard to aim with. So I'll get some good bayonet practice in. Also looks like in harder difficulties the auto aim isn't as good. Uh, kind of wish that they could have made this a toggle uh, or at least an active movement so you can kind of figure out things. Uh, once again though uh, they use the squad basic from the last uh, thing. Also uh, the greens do chuck hand grenades not just you. And I'll see if I can get some footage of that. Let's see if I can hit this guy. With all the little green bodies there, it's kind of hard and annoying. That looks like we took him down. It looks like a signaling rally to, you know, to get everybody going to the next part. But like I said, uh, the AI here, uh, the the uh, players that aren't teamed with actually do have the ability to throw hand grenades. Uh, that's your side and their side, so uh, keep it in mind. That's the new play feature for this one is that uh, the units actually have uh, secondaries versus... Uh, just rifles. And it looks like we got two good bayonet runs, but we couldn't get the third bayonet run, unfortunately. So we'll try this again. So that was a good bayonet charge. We got two out of three. You have to admit that. Anyway, uh, there's a little footage if you look to the right of the pairs dropping. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, it also shows the parachutes next to the ground when you spawn in. Uh, yeah, right there, for example. Also, there is texture problems, as you can see here. I shouldn't be missing him, but... Um, Clearly shooting the bush instead of him for some some odd reason. Uh, I think it was just th uh, 3DO was experimenting here with texture packets. Uh, unfortunately, due to the blockiness of the 3D objects, uh, I ended up hitting. It considers it hitting the object rather than hitting the uh, thing. So this is kind of like their experimental run to see how it goes. As you can see before, like I said, uh, the squad does work together, tries to cover each other. I don't know if difficulty level affects their AI as well. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and practice grenade throws. And there also is slowdown just due to the 
uh, graphics detail. And I think that as we go along further, it'll probably be a little bit cleaner than what it is now. But uh, expect some sporadic lag just from the processor. But we'll just go ahead and cheapen our way through this and use grenades. They gave us six, so why not? And the grenades do have AOE, so that's it's pretty much throw a grenade, move on, throw a grenade, move on. And uh, let's go ahead and do what we did before, but this time we'll just machine gun them down. I said it, the auto aim should have aimed for his leg, but it didn't, so I shot the building instead. We got two of them down. And check back here just in case, see if anything is off. And now we knocked out the last one. It's Acker and Guerrero, G-U-E-R-R-O. Anybody want to take a shot at where that reference is from? Uh, go ahead. See, there's better spelling of it. And uh, that's the new, also the newest new feature is that there's cutscenes now uh, for each part to give a little bit more added storyline as uh, the game progresses. It won't be for every level, but it'll be in a lot of them. And it said, unfortunately, the train got away. I saw our objective was to capture this train, apparently. And see, there's even cinematics at the start of the level, too. And so, like I said, I think this is just 3DO with experimenting with various things. Also, uh, that's number 70 Cal for mall train lovers out there. If anybody wants to post a reference or whatnot or wants to post anything about trains, they can. And, uh... Yeah, remember, this is in hard difficulty, so, uh... Expect me to go splat qu rather quick. He threw a grenade and I instantly died. So we'll try this again. Yeah, and I may just switch the difficulty to, uh, like I said, medium. Let's see how that goes. And if that doesn't work, then I guess it's back to easy mode. Uh, so, like I said, we'll just go ahead and take two on this. And I'll go ahead and call this an end of the LP. Uh, I mean, for this part, anyway. So I'll see you later. Uh, also, uh, shout out to a uh, new person on my uh, channel's list. Uh, Professional produ Productions, I think is what his uh, SN is. But uh, he does intros for for people, uh, but it does cost like ten dollars or whatnot to do various intros. Uh, so if you're an LP or somebody wanting to do intros for whatever, or needing an intro or something, you can go ahead and get in contact with them. But like I said, this is Kinky signing out. Thank you.